Hello and welcome to a very special episode here at Dan Talks. My name is Danesh and today I have with me the Motorola Razr 50 Ultra, a device I'm extremely excited about. Now, if you didn't know, I spent most of last year using the Razer 40 Ultra and I absolutely love this phone. I think it is a phenomenal little device. But I did have some gripes with it. So let's quickly go through them. First and foremost, I think that this hinge could have been better. I think there definitely was a place for the hinge to be better. I loved uh, the vegan leather back. I loved the display on the front. Uh, that absolutely was my preferred display compared to the Samsung Flip 5. I wish there were more software updates, but on the overall, a really, really good phone. So what can the Razer 50 Ultra offer us? Well, it heard a lot of what I was thinking about. So first and foremost, on the front of the phone, we have this beautiful new four inch display. This is definitely the largest display one can find on a flip phone. Uh, loads and loads of customization. So as you can see now these panels that they have go across the screen uh, and you've got many of them that you can sort of choose and adjust as you wish. Uh, if you'll notice here, this is a bit of a home screen scenario going on. So you've got that as well. Um, but on the overall, listen, really, really nice to have this big screen on the front. Next up, we have the back of this device. And guys, this is beautiful. It is so nice. So this is their uh spring green color if i'm not wrong uh there was a document which stated it was dill and i prefer that uh this dill pickle color is really really nice uh, it feels great the motorola emblem on the back looks really really nice uh we've got the green on top here as well but most importantly uh, as far as the body is concerned this year we've got uh, things like the ipx8 and stuff like that and this hinge is so much better just Look at that. Easy to open with one hand, easy to close, nice snap. Love it, love it, love it. Really, really like that. On the front, we've got the cameras here as well. But there's something different about these cameras this year. Uh, that is that there's no more an ultra wide sensor. It is now a telephoto as well as a wide camera. Now on the inside of this thing, we have a 6.9 inch display, 165 Hertz max, uh, 120 Hertz refresh rate, a billion colors, just, just so much to enjoy HDR 10 plus support. I there's nothing wrong with the POLED. Obviously, I would have preferred a GOLED, but uh, the display looks really, really nice. I've only done a very initial setup, so I can't really get into anything to show it to you right now. But um, this much I can say that it looks significantly better than the last year's model. Now, inside the Moto Razr Ultra, we've got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8S Gen 3. I personally have no issues with this processor. I've been using the Moto 50 Edge Ultra before this, and I really see no major major difference unless you're a power user and you're really going to blaze through that. The, the version that we will get in the UAE will have a 12 GB of RAM and 512 GB of storage. Uh, in case that changes, I will let you know uh, across the screen. But um, inside the phone, we've also got a 4000 milliamp battery with uh, 45 watt charging, if I'm not wrong. I think 45 watt charging with 15 watt reverse as well as wireless charging. Now the box that we got at the Razer launch said that this is the Razer 50 Ultra Premium Protective Cover Edition. Now what that means is apart from the 60 8 watt charger as well as the type C to type C cable you now get a beautiful vegan leather case inside and let me just pop that in and if you see that you get this in the box which looks really nice and feels great but it also has those uh, strappy things it's basically that thing where you can put on this little strap and I think I have put it the wrong way around um one eternity later there we go and then obviously you can expand this as you need but basically for those who like to have their phone on them like that yeah what do you guys think i can do i pull it off yeah do i carry it i think i do i think it works 
Like I said, I've done a very quick setup of the phone, but apart from this, you also get Gemini integration onto the phone. Um, so that means that you'll be able to use Google's Gemini. You will get a three month subscription to Google Gemini Advanced, which is also great. Plus there's Moto AI, which will also be able to help you out with tasks and things like that in your daily usage. Let's say you go for some sort of class and you come back and you have a whole load of notifications. You can basically ask Moto AI to give you a gist of everything and it'll help you out with that. You also obviously have all Moto gestures. So for example, uh, the flashlight thing, uh, then you've also got the twist for the camera, so you've got that as well, which I really like. Another cool one is this, so if you activate the camera, uh, actually no, I think you have to do it the other way. So you open the phone, you give it a twist and the camera comes on and you put it into flex cam mode. Now what this does is that first of all, as you can see, it's recording over here. But the other cool thing is that now they've integrated, let me just show this, if you can see it, they've integrated a little touch bar here which starts recording stops recording but also i can zoom in and out using that do you see that that's pretty cool i think that was a neat little thing to add to it so uh nicely done motorola but on the overall listen i'm sure it's visible in my voice i'm excited to be checking out the razer 50 ultra let me know if you guys have any questions i'd love to answer all those for you uh, i apologize for this setup this is the first time i've sort of taken a bit of a portable setup and i'm taking advantage of things like uh final cuts uh, new multicam system and stuff like that but um let me know what you guys think i have another video coming up with all the colors of uh, the razer 50 and 50 ultra so don't forget to check that out and i have a whole lot more coverage on my socials which would be Dan Talks, that's D-A-N-T-A-L-K-S, just like the YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and let me know what you think of the channel, of the phone, of anything. Interact and I'd be glad to reply. Until then, this is Danesh. I'll see you at the next one.